Rivalries are what make every aspect of competition great. But what happens when a rivalry is just as good online as it is offline? Well, it simply means that the two players responsible for this rivalry are just two spectacular players that have mastered the ability to play on both worlds of competition. This is exactly the case for Sonics and Spargo. No matter if it is online or offline, chances are these two are going to go far in their bracket and even run into each other at some point in time, usually being in the top 8. The birth of this rivalry began during the time of the pandemic. The first recorded set between these two titans, however, would be on March 7, 2019 on Battle Network Thursday 17. The win would go to Spargo in a 2-1 best of 3 set. On March 22, 2020, at Mazer Gaming Smash, Spargito would win 2-1 against Sonics. Unfortunately, there is no VOD for this set. Not even a month after that, these two players met again. On the 10th of April, Spargo and Sonics would have a set at Flat Realm form with the win going to Sonics 2-1. A week after, Sonics would stand victorious against Spargo in winner's semifinals at Ultimate Naifu Wars 9-3-2. But then in loser's finals, Spargo got the run back and a 3-0 to eliminate Sonics at third. A day after, Sonics and Spargo would face off at the quarantine series, April Minor. I don't feel comfortable saying the name of the tournament. Anyways, the win would go to Spargo after having played a Game 5 set with the Dominican player. A few months later, these two would meet again in a best of 3 set at the Box Lunchbox 2 that would see Spargo pick up a win 2-1. Two, two days later, Spargo and Sonics would be the two finalists of Flat Realm 7. Spargo would obtain the reset with a 3-0. However, Sonics was the last player standing in the reset and won the reset 3-2. On August 2, Spargo would get a win on Sonics at Super Smash Galaxy in loser semifinals. Not even a week after that, Spargo and Sonics would be present in grand finals of Epic Tournament where the win would go to Spargo. This would be Spargo's second consecutive time beating Sonics. This winning streak would reach a number of six consecutive set wins until Sonics eventually would win the first set of grand finals of El Hugo Box to end the winning streak Spargo had. But in the reset, Spargo would continue to stay winning against Sonics. And Spargo the Maniac began to build another win streak against Sonics. This time, Spargito went on a 10 set winning streak until Sonics eventually got a win at the SSG Airlock Charity Smash Tourney. Sonics would again take another win at the Grand Finals of Lunchbox 11, but not before Spargo took it to a reset with a 3 0. But in the reset, Sonics would give Spargo a dosage of the same medicine and 3 0 him back to win. Sonics would start to pick up a couple of consecutive victories now against the Mexican player as he would defeat Spargo in winner's finals and grand finals of Pandemic Anniversary Series finale. But if you know Spargo, he does not take kindly to losing, whether it is online or offline. Yet again, Spargo went on another winning streak against Sonics of 7 sets, and along these set wins would also be the birth of the iconic Wi-Fi Weekly, Coinbox, which both of these players would be present at, of course. Grand finals to be specific. And yet again, more participation in coin boxes, but this time, Sonics would score two consecutive set wins on Spargo, the first one at Coinbox 12, and then Coinbox 35. After about 40 sets played online, Spargo and Sonics would meet offline on October 23rd, 2022, at the Ludwig Invitational in Losers 8ths. The first game would see Spargo win with a fearless Pyro downer, obtaining a JV2 as well. The second game would see Spargito win after Sonics was careless with a homing attack and the boy from Tijuana took advantage to put the score at 2-0. And finally, to conclude their first offline encounter, Spargito would win with a 2-stock after getting a forward air on Sonics trying to air dodge back to ledge. The next time these two met would be at Let's Make Big Moves 2023 on January 8th, 2023 in the Losers Finals. The first game would go to Spargo after showing no respect to Sonics using a Pyronair after Sonics was trying to get an extension. With less than 3 minutes on the clock, Spargo would get the win in Game 2 after it appeared that Sonics did not realize he had a jump. It was a very odd finish. The third game would go to Sonics with a trademark kill confirmed, still looking very unsatisfied with his play though. The fourth game would go to Spargo, but honestly, the kid from Mexico got super lucky that he had a big lead to play with because Sonics was inches away from a game 5. Two weeks later, Sonics and Spargo would play at one of the grandest stages of them all, Genesis 9, for a place in top 8 through winners. In game 1, Spargo would put on a clinic to Sonics. A dominating 3-stock would give Spargo the first point on the board. Game 2, Sonics would respond in the best way possible. The Dominican player almost landed a 3-stock of his own to put the set at 1-1. Game 3, Spargo had enough of Aegis and switched to his beloved Cloud. But whether it was Cloud or Aegis, Sonics looked ready for anything coming from Spargo. And in the 4th game, that was proved to be 100% correct. 
In this fourth game, Sonic's made Spargo look like your typical cloud player on free play, three stalking Spargo emphatically. On March 1st, 2023, after that destruction at Genesis, Spargo and Sonics would play at the coin box 51 in winner's semifinals and grand finals. The first game in winner's semis would go to Sonics after connecting a spin dash into forward air. The second game would see Spargo win by landing a dash attack to win and put a point on the board. In the third game, Sonics would build a 3-1 stock lead for himself, hitting an amazing play on Spargo. The reaction of the box man says it all. Of course, with the 3-1 stock lead, Sonics would capitalize to put the set at 2-1. In the fourth game, Sonics would get the win with an offstage back air to seal the set at 3-1 in his favor. Later that same tournament, these two titans met again in grand finals. The first game would go to Spargito, who was ruthless with the Pyra Gentleman jab on the corner. The second game would go to Sonics after showing amazing evasion skills to land a back air and tie up the set at 1-1. The third game would go to Spargo. The key moment being when he took the second stock of Sonic's first despite being at a much higher percentage than Sonic's. And finally, Spargo would land the reset after landing a forward air previously connecting about 5 consecutive downers. The first game of the reset would see Spargo tied up with the spring off stage, and that would put Sonic's up on the board first. The second game would go to Spargo after starting to swing out brutally to take Sonic's first stock. The third game would go to Sonic's. But I have to give credit to Spargo for almost reverse 3 stocking the Dominican player. But this time in game 4, Sonic's gave no chance to Spargo and would seal this coin box win with a 3 stock on Spargo. After their sensational sets online, these two players would play offline again, March 12, 2023 at Collision 2023 Losers Top 6. With almost exactly 2 minutes remaining on the clock, Spargito would win Game 1 with a Pyra forward tilt. Game 2 would again go to Spargo after showing no respect to Sonic's spin dash. And the third game would see Spargo 3-stock Sonics who at this point was mentally broken because he was fighting for a place at Summit that day. A few days later, these two would find themselves in the winner's finals of Coinbox 53. Game number one would see Spargo take the lead with a Pyra up smash after Sonics got tangled on a platform. The second game would go to Sonics, three stalking Spargo in under two minutes. After a tight last hit situation in game three, Spargo would seal it out to go 2-1 on the board. After yet another last hit situation in game four, this time Sonics would get the win and put the score at 2-2. Game five would not have a last hit situation like the previous two. Game five would go convincingly to Sonics to make grand finals on the winner's side. But this would not be the end. Spargo would get the run back against Sonics and Grands. The first game would see Spargito land a reversal on Sonics that left even the Boxman shocked. Game 2 would go to Spargo after a convincing 2 stock and put the score at 2 0, only needing one more game for the reset. And Spargo would get the win in game 3 with a 3 stock, showing he was not out of this yet. The first game of the reset would go to Sonics after a deep edge guard with a forward aerial. With almost less than a minute on the clock, Sonics would grab the second game with an up tilt of all moves and put the score of the reset to 0. Game 3 would finally see Spargo put himself on the board after getting an F tilt on the spin dash, spin charge. Can't really tell what move it was, but Spargo would win and put the set at 2 1. Game 4 would again go to Spargo after Nintendo was back at it again with their lovely connection. But seeing Spargo care so much about an online tournament just tells you how much this kid loves to play this game. Even through the tortures of Wi-Fi, he will still show his passion for Smash Ultimate. And to conclude this Game 5, Spargo would win with a convincing 2-stock after landing a Pyra up air in the sky. On March 29th, at Coinbox 55, these two met a lot earlier than usual in bracket. In loser semifinal, Sonics would send Spargo out with a 3-2 win to his favor. Unfortunately, no VOD for the set. And a couple weeks later, at Coinbox 57, these two would be the finalists yet again. The first game would go to Spargo after winning with a fearless dash attack. The second game would see Sonic's win with a backer that sent Spargo too far away to recover. Just like the previous game, Sonic's got the win and the lead in the set with another backer off stage. The momentum of Sonic's would grow as he got a 3 stock with Spargo just looking to start the reset right away. The first game of the reset would go to Spargo after some smart plays off stage. The second game of the reset would go convincingly to Spargo after a forward throw tech chase into a down smash. And after another last hit situation, game 3 of the reset would go to Spargo, popping off yet again. And later down the line, these two would be present at Coinbox 67, and you guessed it, in the grand finals, yet again. There is no VOD for the set, but the outcome was similar to the one from their previous encounter. Sonic's got the reset, but in the end, Spargo would win the reset to win Coinbox 67. After continuing to tear it up online, Spargo and Sonic's met offline in grand finals again. This time, it would be Tournament Get On My Level 2023. 
The first game would go to Spargo, but despite at one point having a 3-1 stock lead, Sonics brought it back to a last hit situation. Game 2 would go to Sonics with a convincing 2 stock having a hot start with a 0 to death. The third game would go to Sonics after landing a perfect edge guard on Spargo to go up 2-1. Sonics would again display amazing edge guarding ability with the spring and win Get On My Level 2023 with a 3 stock to Spargo as well. A few weeks later at Coinbox 71 winners finals, Spargo would meet Sonics again. The first game would go to Spargito, getting an amazing jump read. Sonics would respond in game 2 with a win and getting a hard read off an air dodge too. Third game would seal the second point for Spargo using a lightning buster for the victory. And finally, Spargo would get his place in grand finals with the Pyroneer to win this fourth game. Sonics would make the run in losers to get the run back in grands. Spargo would score first with a Pyro forwarder. In game 2, Spargo would keep up the aggression and put the score at 2-0 with another Pyro aerial kill. Sonics would get a win in Game 3 with some offstage shenanigans. Punishing Sonics off the roll in Game 4 would seal the win for Spargo at Coinbox 71. A few weeks later at Coinbox 73, these two met again in Winners Finals and Grand Finals. The Winners Finals set would go to Spargito with a 3-2 win. But this time with Sonics on the loser side of Grand Finals, Sonics would win the first set with a 3-0 and got the reset with a 3-2 win oozing of confidence throughout the entire set. Just a few weeks later, Spargo would return with Vengeance at Coinbox 75 and win a Grand Finals against Sonics from loser's side too. On October 1st, 2023, Spargo and Sonics would again be present in Grand Finals. Not Coinbox this time, but rather the Stride Online Invitational. Winner's Finals would go to Spargo 3-2. And in Grand Finals, this time Sonics won from losers yet again, first 3-2 in set 1 and 3-1 in the reset. On October 25th at Coinbox81, Spargo and Sonics played in Winners Finals again and the win went to Sonics. And Spargo responded by getting to Grand Finals from Losers and winning Set 1 and the Reset to give Sonics a taste of his own medicine from the previous Invitational they played online. Just a few days later, this time offline, Spargo and Sonics would meet at Luminosity Makes Moves Miami in Winners Finals. With a Pirate Dash attack, Spargito would win Game Number 1. The downward Sonic forward smash would even the set at 1-1. By punishing Pyra up special with a back air, Sonics would get the win in the third game. With an aggressive edge guard of his own, Sonics would win game 4 and the set 3-1. Even if it's online or offline, when these two get beat in winners by one another, they always seem to make grand finals for the runback. And that is exactly what Spargo did again. Downer into upper would put Spargo up on the board first. The gentleman jab would put another point on the board for Spargo. But it all changed when Sonics SD'd at practically 0%. Sonic would score a point in Game 3 with a deep forward aerial edgeguard. With a spring off stage down below, Sonics would tie the set now at 2-2. The Pyro forward air would land Spargo a reset against the Dominican player. With only 2.5 minutes on the clock, Spargo would win Game 1 of the reset with a nair at almost 200%. By committing an absolute robbery, Sonics would win Game 2. The advantage by Sonics was close to perfect as can be. After losing his second stock, Spargo would come back swinging and land an up special to win the third game. A 3 stock in under 2 minutes would see Sonics take this set to a game 5. And after a combined 14 games played throughout this event, Spargo would take the win from the depths of losers against his fierce rival. On November 9, Spargo embarked on another winning streak against Sonics that started at the Coinbox 83, beating Sonics in winners finals and grand finals. No reset, just consecutive wins for Spargito. This winning streak extended to 7 set wins. The events being the already mentioned Coinbox 83, an online invitational hosted by the Lights Out crew, Watch the Throne Winners Semifinals and Grand Finals, and last but not least, Coinbox 86 Winners Finals and Grand Finals. All of these events would see Sonic's taste defeat against Spargo. But next time at Coinbox, it would be different. No, seriously, because this time we're offline and not online like usual. And guess what? They met again in Winners Finals. With a spot dodge into cross slash, Spargo would take game one. A comeback from behind with a well-timed downer would see Spargito and his cloud go up 2-1 in this IRL coin box. With a back air on a cloud air dodge, Sonics would put one on the board in this set. With some up special shenanigans, Spargo would wrap up this set quicker than most of us would have expected. Whether coin box was offline or online, it did not matter. Sonics would be the one present in Grands to meet Spargo again. By aiming a forward smash up, Sonics would get the win in this first game. Two insane parries into a down smash would see Sonics double his lead, only being one game away from a reset. Now off of Cloud using Corrin, Spargo would finally win a game with a Dragon Pin sweet spot. Back to Cloud with some more aggressive play off stage, Sonics would obtain the reset. 
By catching Cloud's jump, Sonics would win game one of the reset. With a triple loop of up airs, Sonics was putting on a clinic against Spargo, who looked lost and out of ideas. And the back air would see Sonics get a win on Spargo in a very different type of coin box. But still the same drives to compete against each other. January 7th, 2024, in Losers Finals of Luminosity Makes Big Moves 2024, Spargo and Sonics would meet yet again already this early in the year. After another last hit situation, Sonics would be the winner, even showing some sort of emotion, which is rare from his part. On January 24, Sonics and Spargo would play in Coinbox 88, and you guessed it, in Winners Finals and Grand Finals again. After five games, Sonics would see himself win against Spargo's Corn. And you know this rivalry is becoming too predictable when Twitch chat knows that this will repeat itself in Grand Finals. We indeed got the repeat of this match, but what was not a repeat was a win for Sonics. Across both sets, Sonics only took one game from Spargo. Just one. And in the next coin box, these two met again only in Grand Finals. But this time, Sonics made sure to get a 3-0 to ensure no reset or nothing for Spargo. Now playing at Genesis X Losers Finals, the win would go to Sonics after 5 games that were pretty even. Until Game 5 with Sonics getting great edge guards throughout the whole set. Coinbox 93 Grand Finals would go to Spargo in another Game 5 set like Genesis. At Coinbox 93, these two met again. Not in Winners Finals or Losers Finals. Not even Grand Finals. In Losers Round 4. Yes, the greatest players in Wi-Fi were battling to stay alive way earlier than usual. It wasn't even a best of five set. The win would go to Spargo 2-1. On August 11th, 2024, Spargo and Sonics would meet in grand finals of Supernova 2024. When Spargo was pinned against the corner, he opted to switch from Aegis to Roy. And this change served him magnificently as he would avoid a reset and win this super major event. A month later, these two would play at the second Luminosity Invitational for last place. Spargo played Roy throughout the whole set. And in the end, with a sweet spot up tilt, Spargo would stay alive and send Sonics packing at last place. And that was just about all of the whole rivalry between these two titans. I may have missed some unrecorded sets, but these two have played over 100 sets, so it's impossible to find them all.